by using these. I just, I feel like now that it's shorter, I, I can do an amazing blow and I want to show you all what um, I do with my own hair here at home. So first step, you need one of these alligator clips. And to use to to pin your hair up when you're doing a blowout, you can do it in sections. You can use two of these. And a regular clip like this works just fine. The reason I use this is because I can kind of um, it holds my hair and so much better than just a regular jaw clip. But this will do the trick too. The Olaplex number four is what I use as a shampoo, and then the number five is what I use for the conditioner. And this is a shampoo and it's anti-freeze, anti-frizz. And then this is the um, Brazilian Blowout Conditioner. So I use both of these and I switch them around. Sometimes I'll use this combo and then the next wash I'll use this combo and stuff. Okay, so this is the number six. The This is the Olaplex number six. It's a bond smoother. So. It, I love this and it's a pump. It just makes it so much more convenient. This is a leave-in styling treatment. You want to leave this in your hair, maybe brush it out so it can get distributed all over your hair and then you're able to style it. Your hair will be so much smoother and softer. It adds moisture, it strengthens and it reduces frizz for up to 72 hours. This is an awesome product just to add into your Olaplex routine. I love it. Even more so with the new bottle, this is really cool. Olaplex number seven, which is a heat protectant oil. So you just pour a few drops of this oil. Oh, it, it smells delicious. It smells really, really good. <laughs> When I'm putting it on, I'm just like, wow, it smells really good. So you just put in two or three drops of this. Um, you can put up to five drops sometimes, but I feel like my hair is short enough where I can just get away with maybe two or three drops. This product that I use too, it's a set it straight, it's argan strengthening lotion. So it has argan in it. I put this in my hair also, but you don't have to. I like my hair to be nice, straight and smooth. And this is exactly the product that I use. I do, when I went to go buy this, I was looking for the Kevin Murphy Smooth Again. And if you know what I'm talking about, that product is great. But the shop that I was at didn't have that currently. So I bought this one. And it's this one is um, it's a vegan product. So I thought I'd give it a try. It's a cruelty-free, 100% um, vegan product. And I like it. The only thing is that so it has a flip top like this. The product is kind of like jelly-like, watery, so it comes out really easily. <laughs> so I had to be careful with that the first few times that I tried it. Then I was like, okay, so I had to remind myself, okay, I had to be really careful with this product because it comes out a lot. Uh, okay, so next I, I want to talk about the hair tool that I use. and. It used to be like when it first came out, it used to like be a pretty common trend and stuff. Now you don't hear about it. It's the Revlon hairbrush. And this has really, this has gotten really good reviews. It's just a hairbrush, but it's also a blow dryer. So this is what I've been using a lot more lately now that I have short hair. Um, when I had longer hair, it was so difficult for me to do a blowout on my hair just because my hair is kind of thick. And it was long and I could never get my hair to come out the way I wanted. But now that my hair is short, I love using this. It's so convenient. And I love that it has the, the cool, for cool air. Um, it has that. This brush is really handy just to have when you don't want to use your blow dryer and I can do a blowout on my hair 
with less time using this than I would a blow dryer and a brush. So this will take the job with both the blow dryer and the brush. Right now, this is what I use for my blowout, this tool right here. And like when I don't use my um, blow dry brush, I do use this. Um, it's a 450 technique and it is a big voluminous. It, it does add a lot of volume to your hair. So when I don't use my brush blow dryer, I do use this with um, a hair dryer diffuser like this. Right now, my diffuser is broken. I dropped it. Okay, so finally, if you watched my video this far and you're still excited and want to know some more, this is a Bore hairbrush and I just I just bought this and I'm really loving it. I've had other Bore hairbrushes before, but for some reason, I really love this one. It's a Balami hair, um, it's for hair extensions. But I really love this and I just feel it leaves my hair so smooth, so soft, so shiny. I can just run my hair, my hairbrush right through my hair and I really, really love this. Um, I picked this up from my hairstylist. What I've been doing with this is after I put my um, hair products in my hair, I will run my hairbrush through it just to distribute the products even more further. I have hair extensions that I love brushing. So many benefits to using a Bore hairbrush. Um, you don't have to have this one that I that I have. It's the Balami hair. Extension. I just got it because my hairstylist he does hair extensions and he uses this brush on me and I just loved it. I love the way it kind of like massages the scalp of my head too. I just love brushing my hair with it. And um, you can use this on wet and dry hair. You can also use this like a detangler to when your hair is tangled, you know, brush away all your tangles. And anyway, there's so many benefits for using a Bore hairbrush. And um, maybe that's a topic for the next video. I don't know, what do you think guys? Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed my video today and I will see you next one. Bye!